Hello, here I will show you how you can create one to many relationship in database using Laravel. For example, there are two tables, student table and subject table. And uh, here the student ID are Unix and uh, the student ID can appear in the subject table for multiple times. In that case, the relationship of these two tables will be one to many. Let an ID repeated here for two times, ID 1 and 2 also repeated here for two times, but module is different. Now I will follow the following steps to create this type of relation in these two tables. First of all, I will create the student tables migration file. So go to the project folder from console. Okay, now uh, run the first command PSP artisan make migration create table students. Okay, our migration file is created. Okay, migration file is uh, created. Now open the file from any editor. Okay, this is our migration file. Now copy the code to create the table students. Here yeah, the table name is a student id integer and which is primary key string name text email string course boolean done and which is uh, default false and time step save the file and go for the next step to create the subject table run the following command to create the migration file Okay, my version file is created. Open this file and add the code to create the table with one to main relationship. Let's see here, here module is integer value student ID which will be foreign key so foreign key is declared here foreign student ID unsigned reference ID on cast on students here ID is the primary key of student table and this is the table name students and on delete cascade means if any record from students will delete then the uh, related record from the subject table will be deleted automatically and next is the subject field and well, another mentionable things is here that uh, there are two primary keys modules and students id where student id is a foreign key save the file and go for the next step uh, to create model for student and subject
okay two medals are created now migrate them now go to step six and uh, run the migrate command from console okay our two tables are created check the database Here you can see students and subject table. Check the structure where ID is primary key and check the subject where module and student ID are primary key and student ID is foreign key. Okay, our tables are uh, created with one to many relationship. Now go for the step 7. Open the two modules, students. Uh, open the two models. In step seven, uh, edit the two models, students and subject. So open these uh, two files from add to. Project name is to the parrot app and these are the two files one is subject and uh, another is student okay now add the code uh, for student model from step 7 this is our student model and add the subject method okay this indicates that the relationship between a student and subject is has many that means one to many and uh, for subject model method will be students and uh, this indicates belongs to that means uh, subject entry depends on student tables Okay, save all files and go for step 8. Create a controller name subset controller. So, type the command here psprtson make controller subset controller. Okay, open the controller. Add the model first. Student and subjects. Okay. Now add the code for index method. Okay, where is the function of index method? When it is called, then it will uh, find the ID that uh, here the ID value is 1. If the student ID1 exists in the student table then it will create a object of subject uh, model and uh, assign the property of the field module student ID subject name and this command will save the entry in the subject table 
based on student ID 1. In the similar way, another entry will be added in the subject where module will be 104, student ID 01 and the subject name is AngularJS. So, when uh, the index method is called for the first time, then it will add two more entries for student 1 in the subject table. And uh, add another method show uh, to sh display the particular student information. Okay, this will uh, receive an ID value uh, as a parameter and search the value in the database and if the student ID exists then it will retrieve the record based on this ID and send to a view file name show which will be created in the next step. Now uh, before creating the uh, view file, I will add route in the web.php file to call the index and show method. So open the web.php file from route folder. Okay, I am copying just existing route and add to routing here. The name will be subject controller name is subject controller and for particular student route will be subject slash id and uh, method will be show save the file and go for the next step step 11 create the view file show.blade.php Set the file in resource view folder. And of course, the file extension will be PHP. And the file name is show dot blade. Okay, to retrieve the record uh, from subject table based on student ID, add this code in the show table show template uh, sorry add this code in the show view okay it will take the data from the controller where controller find out all related record depends on id as a list variable and the show blade will retrieve the data from this variable student id and name and uh, related subject from the subject table uh, and uh, here a for each loop is used to read the subject it can be one or more and display the subject name if the student id uh, has no entry related to subject table then no subject is assigned for this student this message will be printed now i can go for to test my code so, open the server first. Okay. First of all, I will check the index method. There is an error that mean ID is not found.
student ID is 1 and uh, in the database there is no record and my both tables are empty. So first of all I will add ng for a student table. 1 Okay, now student table has one record and again I will check my uh, URL. No error, that means data is inserted. So click on the subject table and you can see for student ID 1, two records are inserted here and the uh, relationship between these tables are one to many and if I want to insert uh, manually in subject table then you can also uh, see with the drop down list appear here which will be inserted from student table so in this way we can create one to many relationship in the database now I will uh, take my second URL or routing that means id value here is only one id so i will type one here another error appears sorry there will be subset controller And now again check the URL. Here you can see student ID, which is not appear here. The student name are often, and this is the course. Now check the show blade, and uh, the ID student ID in the student table is ID not student underscore ID. Now again refresh. Then you can see ID value is appeared here. In this way, you can easily create one to many relationship in MySQL database using Laravel migration process and apply in your project. Okay, thank you for watching.